Midjourney just released one of its most requested features, consistent characters. Now, it is easy to create consistent characters like these and like these. In this video, I will show you how you can do the same. First, you will need a base image that will be a reference for all of the other images. I'm going to use this one. To make it easier, I will create an option for the new parameter. Right-click on the image and select Copy Link. Start typing slash Prefer. You want the Prefer Option Set command, so press Enter. Click on plus one more and click Value. Type dash dash C-R-E-F, which stands for Character Reference. Add a space, right-click, and paste the URL of the image. Enter the name of the option and press Enter. Now I'll enter a prompt for a scene in which I would like to place Tom. I think I'll have him riding a bike in a park. I want the image to be wide, so I'll change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. In order to add Tom to the scene consistently, I need to add our custom option, dash dash Tom 1. If you look at the prompt, you'll notice that our custom option, dash dash Tom 1, was replaced with its value, dash dash C-R-E-F, followed by the image link. Now look at these images. I think they all look like the original image of Tom. They are even wearing the same outfit, some with slight variations. For the most part, I would say these images are consistent. What do you think? And here are some more images I generated in their prompts. When examining the prompt for this generation, you'll notice I requested Tom to be depicted riding a horse in a cowboy outfit. However, his clothing bears a closer resemblance to the attire from the original image, albeit not identical, rather than typical cowboy clothes. To rectify this, Midjourney introduced a new parameter, dash dash CW, representing character weight ranging from 0 to 100 with a default value of 100. A value of 100 will try to recreate character in the image reference, including the face, hair, and clothes. A value of 0 will focus only on the face, which is great if you want to change outfits or hairstyles. So I re-entered the prompt and added the character weight parameter with a value of 0. In this instance, I don't think any of these images look like Tom. To me, it seems like the Pixar style is taking over and making Tom look more like Woody from Toy Story. I'm going to try increasing the character weight to 25. The top two bear a stronger resemblance to Tom, while the bottom two appear less like him. Additionally, the clothing carries a cowboy influence but still preserves elements of the original image's style, like a blue shirt. You can incorporate multiple image references as well. Let's say I want to include this image for character reference. I'll utilize the prefer option set command once more. Choose your option. Now, it appears I can't simply add another link because the value is empty. So I'll need to copy the value from one of the prompts and paste it into the value box. Copy the link of the image you wish to add, then paste it, ensuring there's a space between the links. You can also experiment with creating a character sheet using your character reference. However, it took me numerous generations to achieve one that somewhat resembles Tom. I had to reduce the stylization to 50, as indicated in the prompt. Next, I experimented with a new prompt for generating a character sheet. Simply input the number of images along with multiple poses and facial expressions. The results varied. While the face showed some consistency, the shirts displayed less uniformity. Additionally, you can explore incorporating character and style references. Style references enable you to effortlessly replicate a style while maintaining its aesthetics. To include it in your prompt, simply type dash dash s r e f followed by the link of the image whose style you wish to emulate i'll upload an image into discord and press enter 
I will make Tom a comic book hero, adopting the style from this image. You can further refine the style reference by adding weight using the dash dash SW parameter. This parameter accepts values from zero, disabling the style, to 1000, closely following the reference style, with a default value of 100. And here's the result. All of them bear some degree of resemblance to Tom, and the bottom two appear to depict an older version of him. Apart from that, the images look fantastic and perfectly capture the style of the reference image. After trying out this feature, I must say, it's quite impressive. However, it's not flawless, as it may produce inconsistencies from the reference image. Midjourney advises that it works best with images generated by Midjourney and isn't intended for real people or photos. Additionally, it might not replicate exact styling across generations, such as freckles, dimples, or intricate clothing details as evident in these images. Nevertheless, I'm eager to see the potential developments of this tool in the future. Have you given this feature a try yet? If so, share your thoughts by leaving a comment below. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.